Yeah, yeah, yeah. Incredible. Yeah, yeah. Unconventional is one yeah. word. Innovative is another very good word. And those are just a few of the words that come to mind when I look at the artwork of my next guest. Uh, Gavin Jordan is a visual artist who specializes in what he calls sculpted paintings made with screws. Now, we've all been just going on and say, Whew, what is this? Uh, absolutely amazing. This is Gavin, by the way. Um, and all these pieces are mine. <laughs> Say yes quick, you know. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, if, you, if you can afford it. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome. Thank you. Wow, incredible. First, let me just congratulate you on, on what I'm, I'm seeing here. This is absolutely amazing stuff I'm seeing. But uh, tell me the, the genesis. Where, where, where did it start? So I started painting in about 2016. Painting? Right? Painting, right, while I was living in the, in the US. And, um, you know, ever since I started painting, it has been a process of exploration, right? Um, I'm always trying different things, different media. And um, I came across an artist called Michael Murphy, who does perceptual art, right? These are big installations. And, you know, it's three-dimensional. three, it's three And I decided, you know what, wow, I need to create the best painting I can create. And, you know, the, my idea of the best painting involves some element of 3D. So I started using nails and, and different media and then I stumbled on screws and discovered that you know if I put the screws at different lengths then it will give me this 3D effect. So that's how this process actually came about. Why, why you couldn't do that with nails? Well after hitting my hand several times, <laughs> <laughs> right, I decided you know that wasn't the way I wanted yeah, to and go. And this is part of the process we're looking at. That's part of the process, right. So uh, how do you decide which nail is a little higher than which nail? I know you want the 3D effect but yes. where you got that expertise? So, so Neville, I think that is in it. Right? I can look at a, a, a piece or look at an image and determine you know, which, what, what depth I need to put each screw at. I can't tell you, it's, you know, it's just my innate ability and, and you know, it's not yeah. a science, it's just yeah. something I, I can do. So, I, I've, I'm seeing this now yes. and I know I can't go home and do it. <laughs> I mean, I say Messi, I mean, he's a football and I can't go home and do that either. So to say that you saw someone and you, you just go do it, is, is, yeah. you're being humble. Um, who, who taught you? No one. No one. Right. Right. So, so, so truth, you, be, the truth be told, I did art at CXC level, you know, which was, you know, like 20 odd years ago. You know, I'm aging, aging yeah, myself well. a little bit. <laughs> right. Yeah. And, um, you know, I come from a family of, 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 of quote unquote artists, right? Yeah. You know, not, not professional artists, but we had art skills, you know, my yeah. father, my brothers. Yeah. And, you know, so, so I believe that a, a lot of it was in it. All right. So, take me through the process. Where do you start and how do you get? Um, so, that's an, that's an interesting question. So I, I actually drive around with a camera in my car, right? So anytime I spot an, uh, an image, a person, somebody doing something, I will just snap a photo, mm -hmm. right? And then yeah. I go home and I imagine a scene that is different from, the, from what I took, okay. right? That involved this figure, okay. right? And then I create a silhouette. And then from that silhouette, I, I started to I start to bore holes as you saw in the video a while yeah, ago, yeah. and then I determined you know which what depth and what length of screws to use to create that that three D. But, the, the, but the, the silhouette from the picture wouldn't be this size, would it? No, it wouldn't. Right. So again, you have to use some imagination. I have to. to I have to. So do you enlarge it first, or you just, I just look at it and look at it and, and make and, a bigger one? And make a bigger one. No sir. <laughs> <laughs> no sir. That is incredible. Yes. That is incredible. Thank you. Thank you. And and you, literally every single screw you have to put the drill and I have to put every single screw in, and then I have to paint on top of every single screw. So you don't paint them before you put it in. No. So so each painting will typically take me about six weeks to three months. So after you do all of this, you have a little brush and you paint this one. And I paint, paint each and every screw. You know nothing to do. <laughs> Well, it's quite the contrary. Well, right? actually, I said that <laughs> deliberately because this is a hobby. He actually has a full-time job, which is the reason I kind of wanted to segue into it like that. So this is a hobby for you. It is. Wow. It is. And you, have you thought of doing this full-time? Full um, I have, but, but, but not, not, not in the short to medium term, right? I, I enjoy what I do full-time, right? You know, and this actually creates a balance. Right, you know, I have this corporate job, yep. you know, where, where it allows me to use logic and facts and right. you yep. know rules and regulations, yep. and then after hours I can go into my imaginary world yep. to create these pieces. Sometimes they say, as a, a, an interviewer, you need to know the answer 
to the question you are going to ask. I don't know this answer. Yes. Um, but have you? Is there an audience for this in Jamaica? There is. There yes. is. Yeah. Yeah. There is. Oh, so, you know. Because I have been posting these pieces on Instagram, Facebook. Yeah. And each time I post one of these pieces, I get a lot of comments and people asking, you know, what's the price? Is it available for sale? Right? I've done about five previous pieces and they've all sold in, in, in seconds. So there is an audience. So there is an audience for it. Yeah. As I said, I should have didn't know the answer, but <laughs> I did it never do that. Boy. And these are, you've already said, these are real scenes that you've seen somewhere. Somewhere. Yeah. And then I, I build on top of them. Yeah. And, and even the colors that you use, hey, look at that one over there with the, I guess that's a young man and a, is it two young men, a young, young man, men, a young yeah. ladies, two young men? Yes. Um, you came up with those colors or those were the actual I, colors? I came up with those colors. Yeah. yeah. Um, would the colors matter in a 3D setting? It will. It Why? Will. It will. So, so all of this is... So if you didn't put pure black, it wouldn't look the same? It right? wouldn't look the same. So all of this is deliberate, right? And I use contrasting colors so that the images pop from the background. Yeah. Right? So not only is, is it 3D, but it's, 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 it contrasts with the background. So red, and then this is a, yeah. a... Is it also deliberate where you put the colors? I mean, could the red be up at the head and it, it will it, look it the same It is way? deliberate as well, because I'm trying to create a scene, a nostalgic feel of these, of these scenes that, you know, you, you go, you see about every day in your everyday life, right? Yeah. So it's supposed to create this nostalgia. Yeah, yeah. So they're deliberate. And the other thing I, I, I suspect, and again, I'm asking that because of what you do, the size also matters. I, also I suspect matters. you don't do nothing small like no. this paper here. No, I don't. I don't. Ooh. I don't. I haven't tried. And, and maybe one day I will, because I suspect that there's a market for miniature paintings with this style. Enough screws still, you know? <laughs> well, this is about 3,300 screws. <laughs> Yeah. How much in this one? And that one is 2,200. Actually, actually, because of that, yes. it looked bigger um, than yeah. everything else yeah. here. This is amazing. I'm so impressed. Thank this you is so absolutely much. amazing. Thank you so much, Neville. Uh, how are you found? And, and how often you sit down and do this? Because so, you do so, have a. Yeah, so my job. life is scheduled, right? So I, I work in my full time job pretty much 10 to 14 hours some days, and then I, I make a deliberate effort to do like two hours of painting every night and on weekends, which is my most productive time. Yeah. So You say painting, but there are pictures. Or there are... There are paintings. What do you call this? It's a sculptured painting. But this is a painting? Yes. But it comes from a picture? Not all of them. Some of them are okay. from imagination. Okay. Not all of them. No. All right. Fantastic, Bridget. Fantastic. Did you give us your handle? So my handle is Jordan underscore art underscore 876 that's on instagram and my website is www.jordanart876.com yep i really appreciate that you brought this for me <laughs> really appreciate it serious <laughs> well well we can talk afterwards no we, we can talk i'm here you know just tell it <laughs> all right check him out this is absolutely amazing and we have some more amazing stuff when we come back visual artist uh, gavin jordan all right, up next we give you something to smile about. Why them producer and have nothing for you know? They may not smile for morning. So man, soon come here, man. Why?